Hello everyone! Welcome to today's video. You know why you're here. Hello! I received the new Nomad Cosmetics Ghost Town USA Palette in PR. This beauty got to me today. I'm filming it. Happy launch day! If you're seeing this, it's go time. Snag this baby up if you would like it. So if you want to hear my thoughts on this palette, then please stick around for today's video. Subscribe, be a friend, because I love indie brands. I love Nomad. I'm obsessed with eyeshadow palettes. And I'm sure if you're here, you are too. So before we jump into the three looks, I want to read you some information on this palette. So this palette retails for $49. This is not limited edition, so you don't have to feel rushed if you do not want to buy just yet. You can use people's affiliate codes. Mine is Brittany Ray. Thank you so much if you do decide to use my discount code. So as I was saying, this is inspired by the ghost towns of the Wild West. That is so freaking cool and the palette the color story it is inspired by grit and gold this palette has nine shimmer shades and nine matte shades so I absolutely love the ratio that we are getting with the formulas inside and just by swatching this it knocked my socks off because this by far the shimmers have swatched better than any Nomad palette that I have ever swatched. They are so buttery and creamy and I cannot wait to get these babies on my eyes. So without further ado, let me zoom you in and let's get started with the first look. So every single time that Nomad launches a palette, they always have a beautiful postcard from the location that they were from. And this one right here is extra special because right here, if you see, do you like scratch offs? Because this is exactly what that is. You can, let's see, it says scratch for a chance to win a grand prize of $100 or other prizes, no purchase necessary. Now, we'll say you do. If you are a lucky winner, I hope you are, then you need to claim this by October 15th. But that is so cool. I haven't scratched one yet. I do not have the best luck, so I'll get to that eventually, but I don't want to get my hopes up. You know what I'm saying? Okay, guys, this packaging, I have been staring at it. I have showed everyone in my family. I'm like, look at this palette. It is so freaking cute. And guys, look. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I love that sound. Do you like that sound? It's just like fascinating. I could just stare at it all day. Anyways, also I wanted to note that the packaging, it feels like cardboard. So I typically do not keep my boxes to palettes, but I'm going to keep this in the special box. So nothing happens to it because it definitely feels different, but I like different. It's nice. It's different but like in a good way. Just, I feel like if I lay this on something wet, like she might get a little messed up. So I'm going to keep it in the box. I'm going to try at least. Okay, so this color story, I feel like if you're a neutral lover, oh, this is going to be a fun, spicy, moody color story for you. And if you're a color lover, this might be a little sub, like, toned down, less saturated, but like, oh, the grungy vibes with neutrals, with the fun pops. Are you kidding me? My heart is happy. When I saw this picture, like, whenever they revealed the color story, I was like, Oh, I'm excited. Okay, so I saw my friend Alicia Budget Beauty. She did uh, four looks, I believe. Was it four? I think so. Yeah. Um, she did a look focusing with these and it turned like gray, like a blue gray. So I'm curious, like depending on your undertone. So I definitely want to play with these, see what that's about. So that's kind of what my first look is inspired by. I love neutrals and I have to dive into those first. I do not want the mattes to take over so I want to go in with the shade Copper Penny and I want to try to see if I can keep this more of a warmer neutral versus super cool because overall this palette is leaning cool but there's a beautiful bronzy shade. Oh it's so pretty. I'm just curious if I go in with the matte or the shimmers first how I could, you know, change the vibe and not keep it so gray bluish tone on me. So we'll see. Something I have struggled with Nomad's shimmers in the past, they have been, I've had very, I would say two palettes, the shimmers came really firmly pressed. So I was very excited to see that these are almost wet feeling. So if you like a very soft shimmer, almost wet, squishy, mushy, all the yumminess, you're going to love these shimmers, obviously, that's just based off of my swatches. Oh, but they apply so pretty. Now I'm just going to blend in the mattes and see how it blends with that more bronzy tone. I'm going to go in with this one right here. All my embossments have kind of like been through it because I've already been swatching it. But that's okay. Okay, definitely. I can definitely see this taupey vibe. 
you know what I have the new Natasha Denona I need a nude palette and like this like these six shades kind of give me those vibes I'm not gonna lie okay I'm just gonna keep blending that in oh it's so pretty I love a taupey with bronzes, bronze mixes. Now I'm just going to kind of go down the row. I want to try this mid-tone and see if it goes gray. You know, I'm curious or if it pulls more brownie. Okay, definitely a cool tone, beautiful brown. But it's not pulling too gray on me. I just wanted to make sure that with this palette I would have versatility and all my looks wouldn't be like gray gray. You know what I mean? But so far, oh, it's so beautiful. I have brushes everywhere. I want to go in with the deepest shade right now and put that on the outer corner. And then I think I'm going to go in with another shimmer, possibly two. Ooh, that is deep and rich and delicious. Oh, I love the definition like this palette gives. The shimmers are super light to super deep. Same thing with the mattes. Some things with, um, sometimes Nomad palettes can be very main like I would say mid-tone to deep so I do like that we do have some lighter shimmers in this palette so on the outer corner I want to kind of mix this one in between the shimmer and the matte that I have going on this one has a little bit more like cranberry-ness to it it's like a deeper bronze oh it's pretty I just kind of want to mesh those two together and then we'll do the inner corner now I want to go in with the shade Tombstone and put that on the inner corner and possibly layer it on top of that shimmer. Ooh, that's a beautiful, beautiful highlighter shade. And that is something, like I said previously, that I was missing in some of my other Nomad palettes. Oh, it just really helps lighten it up just a little bit. I'm just going to, oh, they're so creamy, guys. It's almost like a super shock shadow from ColourPop. Just the way that you can like really, I don't know, just sculpt the way it goes on. How? Oh, I'm obsessed. Okay, for the lower lash line, what do I want to do? I think I'm going to keep it brown. That's what I want to do. Yes. I'm just going to go in with this shade right here and tie it all together. And then I'll be back to show you look number one. Okay, so this is the first look. All I did was add some What's Up Beauty mascara, and I went in with the shade Undead Sheriff, which is that super cool tone, lightest shade in the palette. And this is what I came up with, so I'm going to turn down the brightness now. Here's that shade up close. I know you're not going to walk around in the dark, but I just like to show you all how the shadows do contain beautiful sparkles in there. So what do y'all use to clean your brushes, like in between looks, whenever you don't have the time to fully give your brushes a good bath, you know? I always use this Sephora Refresh Brush Cleaner. I just like to know what you use. I usually just use a color switch or that. And I'm actually almost out. I'm going to have to get some more during the next sale this fall. Okay, now we are clean, back in business. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing for this look. I just love how I just got this palette and I'm like throwing it on my face without even thinking. Um, okay, so I was going to play with the greens, but I feel like I want to save the greens for the last look. So that could be on both eyes, you know. Um, also, I did want to note that these two silvers in here, so this was more of like a traditional silver. And then down here, it was more of like a gun metal silver. I just wanted to note that, that that's kind of something else that I observed while checking this palette out and inspecting it. And also, well, I don't know, there's like a little ghost right here. Can you see that? I don't want to blind you. That was, I was like, oh, I love it. And I even have my ghost earrings on. Uh, my friend Amanda, she has her own earring company. She hand makes earrings. It's, it's Grateful Designs. I will make sure I will link her down below. I think I'm going to play with the blues, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. So, yeah, I'm going to kind of stay in the main, like the middle right here and see what I come up with. I'm going to first start off with this shade right here. Super cool tone. Almost like a, it looks like a blue gray okay oh that's pretty I typically don't reach for grays this like intense but I just want to make sure I try out every single shade in the palette today for you all and test it out so 
some of my looks may not be necessarily like cohesive but I still want to test out as many shades as possible I know it's kind of backwards to go in with shimmers first but that's just kind of like what I like to do I like to do shimmers and matte so I'm gonna mix the silver with this more this is like such a wearable beautiful shimmer I want to mix those two together I love mixing metals some you know silvers with bronzy tones rose gold I just love mixing them so I think those two would be beautiful paired together and I'm just going to pack those two on to create something special super bright and icy and I love it um I don't know what this shade is but I'm gonna call it Nevada I'm gonna put that on the inner corner as well to brighten up right there like beam that's the brightest shimmer in the palette uh, let's see tombstone it's more cool tone wearable neutrally whereas Nevada is super bright in your face and beautiful um let's see I'm gonna go in with a matte next let's see I want to mix these two and I think we're gonna get more more blue over here I'm also going to use those as liner as well I just want to deepen out the outer corner and see how it pulls on my skin tone what color we get that is like it's just like such a beautiful blue right there mixed together oh, I'm not gonna lie that's really really pretty I'm mixing all three of those beautiful blues and blue grays and I'm going to drag that on the lower lash line but I also want to add a shimmer on top for a fun pop down there like you could leave the look like this like super cool tone blue silver icy but I'd have to try out this shimmer over here. It's so beautiful. It has a really dark base as well. So you could also put that on the outer corner for like some definition. I can't wait to test that one out. This one has a little bit of a shift to it. Like what are we working with here? Maybe gold, purpley? I don't know. It's pretty. But I'm just going to layer that on the blue. And see what we come up with. Okay, I love it. I absolutely love blues and purples. They're so pretty. Before I end this look, I want to go in with the Smoky Quartz shade, which is like the gunmetal. And I want to mix that where the shimmers meet the blue. That's what I'm going to do to kind of help mesh the two together before we move on. So I'm just going to blend these and then I'll be back to show you look number two. Okay, so this is look number two completed. All I did was add What's Up Beauty Mascara and then my Hard Candy White Out in the waterline and this is what I came up with so now I'm going to turn down the brightness. I just love the purple on the lower lash line. Let me know if you like that touch. I'm trying to get my face to look normal as possible <laughs> after rinsing off my makeup and I just stab myself in the eye with my mascara wand so I'm not crying. I'm just like blonde you know. Okay so I've been using this RMS Beauty blush like you can't even see the embossment just about like the name it's completely off. This is in the shade Glass, no, Crystal Slipper. Oh my god, I love it. It's like my perfect nude blush. So, wow, we're getting my face normal. Going in with my highlighter. I use this almost every single day. It's my Dior quad. I just love it so much. It's so pretty. Like everyone says, you can't take my nose highlight away. I just, I don't know. I'll never stop doing that. Okay, my eyes burning. Lots are brought, but we're going to power through <laughs> the look that I'm most excited to do today. I want to do a green look. But as soon as I saw this palette, well, honestly, the neutrals, I was like, oh, those browns, but like the greens, are you kidding me? Yeah, we're definitely using those today. Um, I want to use the shade at Ghost Town at first. It's beautiful. It looks like the perfect sage green. I can't wait to test this one out. I'm just going to put that all over and we'll see how this blends. Oh, so this is like a really pretty pastel green. Once you get it on the eyes, very pretty. Light, but I'm going to see if I can build it up. You do get some powder kick up with these matte shades, but that doesn't bother me. I just wanted to note that. I forgot to say that earlier. I was just so excited about the palette. I literally forgot to even tell you that. But you do get a little bit of powder kick up. Nomad's matte shadows, they're always good. Like, <laughs> it's not like I was gonna coming into this review 
questioning that, I knew that they were going to be excellent quality. They have nailed their matte formula. And this shimmer formula in here, I'm telling you, they have nailed it. If they keep this shimmer formula, I will be a happy camper. It's a beautiful shade. So I'm going to go in with this, the darker one next. It's like more of a mid-tone. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just kind of layering everywhere. If you hear a sound machine, I'm sorry if you hear static. Um, I'm filming this at night time and everyone's asleep. And we like our sound machine blaring. Like, so freaking loud. So, if you hear that, I do apologize. But the show must go on. So, I feel like these greens don't necessarily go with the these two so this is like a dirty money gold and this is like a super bright green and these are more of like i would say like eucalyptus sagey green shades so these would be beautiful with like this shade if i wasn't reviewing the palette i would dive into this shade or even like a silver for for me personally that's just how i would utilize that combo but I need to use all the greens. So I'm going to go in with the brightest green. See, it just, I don't know. They're different tones in my opinion. But I'll just shut up and see once I get it on my eye. Yeah, so I would mix this green with the brown mattes. It's flip-flop. But I'm just, you know, telling you how I would do it. Um, and going forward, I'll definitely create more looks for you all. I don't know. I just wanted to throw this palette all over my face today beautiful beautiful shimmer though I'm gonna do the same thing over here on the other eye I just I can't get over how wet these shadows feel because the past my past two nomad palettes let's see the safari palette um that those shimmers were firmly pressed and then the Verona love and death palette I had some firmly pressed shimmers in that one but goodness gracious I can get down. I can get down with these shimmers right here. I don't think that's such like a harsh combo contrasting difference. I don't know. I like it, but I'm not like obsessed with this color combo. Now I'm going to go with the shade at Gold Rush. And I'm going to put that kind of like on the inner third. Ooh. It's pretty. I don't know if they look different enough layered with one another. I would probably not use these together, and I would use them with the brown separately. Yeah, it's a little different. It's definitely a brighter pop for sure. So for the inner corner, I'm going to go in with my favorite shimmer. It's this one right here, Nevada. That's what we're calling it. And I'm going to add some, just a little pop in the inner corner. Still a little, little cold tone icy. Oh, pretty. And if you don't, if you're not like obsessed with this shade for the inner corner, just use your face highlighter or pop into a different palette. I'm just trying to utilize all the shades I can in each look, but I like it. I'm liking it. So now I'm going to do the lower lash line and I just want to mix those two greens. And I will say I have been using this shade over here as liner. It is so deep. It's not like black, but it's a deep, deep, deep deep brown but I forgot to tell y'all but I have been using that shade as liner and I'm just going to mix those two green shades on my lower lash line so here's what we got going on right now I want to add some more brown not more I want to add brown to this look I want to go in with this shade right here and just kind of tie that in with the green because I'm not liking that contrast I want to add add just a little bit more brown and see if I like it more with these greens. Oh yes, that helps. Just make it a little dirtier, you know? I'm going in with the shade Copper Penny. It's that bronze shimmer. And I'm just kind of patting it a little bit out here. To kind of help give it a little something. And I'm liking that so far. So I'm going to keep blending. And then I'll be back to show you the finished look. Okay, so this is the finished look. All I did off camera, I added this shade as liner on the top right here. Super, super deep brown charcoal. Very cool tone and lovely as liner for me. So I used that on the top and then on the bottom I used this Natasha Denona waterline in the shade, I believe Willow. Yes, oh, this came out with the Yuka collection. 
I love it. So yeah, that's everything I did for this look. I really do like how it came, how it ended up coming out. I wasn't exactly obsessed with the contrast with the lime green with like the more sagey green, but once I added some more of those browns and coppers, I ended up really liking it. So now I'm going to turn down the brightness. Okay, here we have it. So you be the judge. Let me know if you like look one brown look, two blue silver, or three the green look. I would love to know. So I'm going to zoom you out and give you my thoughts on this palette. Okay, so first I want to start off with the packaging. I Nomad is, they do amazing packaging. They really do give you the full experience of the destination that they traveled and it's just so pretty. I'm definitely going to keep my palette in this box to protect it because this is just one of a kind right here. I did not own the Haunted Europe palette so for me this is just super exciting. This is, I would say, like the Haunted Europe's cousin. This is more cool tone, more wearable in a way, whereas like the Haunted Europe seemed more punchy and vibrant, but still beautiful. But that one's discontinued. And as far as the color story goes, I think that this is for everybody. If you like softer tones, neutrals, I think that this would be like your fun, spooky, moody palette. Some fun pops for just someone who likes very soft colors. This would be like a fun color palette for you. And if you like colorful shades, this is more of like a subdued version. It's not as so saturated. Like I said, it's very moody, grungy tones. You have some greens, very beautiful sage greens, super deep charcoal brown almost gray and then these really unique blue shades and then these cool tones here it depends on what you pair these with I think if you pair them with the silver they're gonna lean more gray and if you did what I did and you pair them with the more bronzy tones you could get more of a brownie look in a way so I love the color story I like how there is something for everybody here and I do like how nomad this go around they gave us the beautiful oh, creamy shimmer shades so if you don't like a wet formula like very squishy almost like super shock-esque you might not like the shimmer shades in this but I personally love a squishy shimmer so yeah definitely right on my alley nailed it this is going to probably be my favorite nomad palette I feel like every launch we all say that oh it's our new favorite but like <laughs> it is because nomad is just that good at giving us exactly what they had envisioned as far as packaging aesthetic color story all of it and I'm really impressed with this formula the mattes they're always really nice from Nomad they're very pigmented very very pigmented you do get a little bit of powder kick up they're soft creamy but very blendable so yeah I really do like the mattes I like the shimmers in here I love the color story I do really like the ratio between shimmers and mattes we have non shimmers non mattes it's really nice I do love that they added some lighter shimmers in here to help give us some like inner corner pops and kind of help brighten the overall look and we do have some lighter mattes in here I like the gradient that we have amazing very very helpful with me and my like skills and blending and I do love the way that they laid this out you could just have a shimmer with like a corresponding matte and you can do that all throughout the palette or you could do like categorize it in like three different six pan palettes or mix all around the palette for me. This is how I'm going to typically use this palette. Obviously, I will pop into it for a beautiful everyday gorgeous bronze look that will be probably like my go-to and I will love to utilize and mix in these greens for a fun pop or I'll do it all over green look um if I ever want a silver gunmetal look I'll definitely utilize it with some of the browns and I love using blues as liners for me so typically like that's how I would utilize this palette and I love that they added the super beautiful purple almost shifty shade in a way so yeah I love this color story so much I love the embossings in the pan the shimmers on the embossings like they don't last long because they're so soft and squishy but the matte embossings like all the fun characters in here they're going to last a while so we have another hit from Nomad um, potentially my favorite if Safari had this shimmer formula that would have been my holy grail palette but the, the fact that this shimmer formula I love it so much 
I think that, I don't know, Safari and this one's battling it out. I'm going to love mixing them together. So yeah, I just, I don't know, this packaging, I could just stare at it all day. Formula is great. Color Story is great. I'm just repeating myself at this point. Definitely let me know which look you like the best. I tried. Actually, yeah, I used every single shadow in this palette and I cannot wait to continue to dig into this all month long and also really do enjoy that this is not limited edition. So don't feel pressured. If you're not in a spot where you can buy this right now, you can wait. Maybe you don't want a spooky palette right now but technically this is year round but since it's not limited edition you don't have to feel rushed you can just wait maybe wait for like a black friday sale or something along those lines because nomad they always run really fun sales like that so don't feel pressured to buy this just yet but if you do want to buy it i think that it's very beneficial that you can wear this year round it doesn't you don't look at it and you're and you're not like oh halloween i can only wear that halloween you know of course you can wear whatever makeup you want whenever but I see this as a year-round palette for me and the packaging just is a plus but that's gonna do it for today's video I do hope that you found this helpful I hope you enjoyed it if you're still here you better be subscribed I really do appreciate you so so much for your support as a small channel you clicked on my video there's so many other videos up with this palette so if you're here I really do appreciate you and I hope that you are having a wonderful day. So wherever you are in this world, I hope you're doing well. I hope that you are healthy, happy, and safe. Stay beautiful. Bye, guys.